dad would tell me, hey, we're going to grandpa's house. Or my younger brother would say, tall tree, Zach. He'll say Jean-Paul. He'll say, call him Jean-Paul. Um, Pops put me on a lot of things when we moved out, you know, when we, we would go out there, when we lived in California, you know. I was always excited. I didn't like the, the drive, though. My parents would always like, roll the windows down, the windows up Arizona, and I don't know why, it was a guy. But when we got the Pops out the lake house, um, you know, the lake house for me and other grandkids was almost like a sanctuary for us. Uh, you know, we had the den downstairs, we had the, the uh, treadmill, which I think I broke a tooth on. <laughs> um, but uh, no, he put me on a lot of stuff. He put me on pancake sausages. <laughs> he always be like, Bo, there's some pancake sausages in the fridge. He all, and then I know we just started calling us Bo. I don't know what that meant. Like, what that meant? <laughs> um, you know, but then my parents said we had to move to uh, Texas, and I didn't want to. I wanted to stay so bad. If we didn't move, because we moved for Pops, I wouldn't have met my wife. Uh, I wouldn't have my kids. And uh, one thing that Pops taught me and everybody, every time we got on the phone, you know, I said, how you doing, boy? Everything okay? And, yeah. And you know, we talked for a little bit, and then you always say at the end of it, you say, uh, Daniel, uh, try always to do the right thing. Yeah. He would always say that. Just try to do the right thing. And uh, from the lessons that he taught me, you know, I have a son, uh, and I have two, I have my daughter, my stepdaughter's not here today, um, and I actually have another one on the way. <laughs> um, but uh, no, uh, every lesson he taught me, I try to do that to my kids, and so they can do that to their kids, because uh, he was real special.